what is going on everyone and welcome back to a new video today i wanted to talk about the rog allies streaming capabilities within uh, the steam and its streaming service now the reason why i wanted to do this video today is was mainly due to the fact that there are a lot of gaming computer handhelds around here mainly the android ones that mainly their selling point is streaming games from a handheld and doing it that way and you know for me i would say it depends on the kind of wi-fi you got going on uh for some people uh streaming it won't be a problem at all as considering they're just doing it to game at usually the surface level and also the fact that they don't really mind uh doing streaming because their internet is really good and they're not gonna really witness very many uh issues while playing so i could understand from that standpoint but from another uh some people just want to have the game running natively and i personally am kind of one of those people but i don't really mind if you know playing a streamed game as long as it's good so today i wanted to do just that now, one thing to consider, I do have Wi-Fi 6 going on, so I should have a pretty decent uh, experience streaming this from my 6900 XT 5800X desktop computer, and that's what I'm going to be doing it from. So, like I said, let's go ahead and test out some games to stream. Alright, um, the, for the first one, as you've seen, I'm going to be doing MX vs. ATV Legends. So let's go ahead and boot this up. Just a uh, Nick's ally is playing on. You know what I'm saying? I just gotta show you guys how the video is gonna start out. Or just how it's gonna stream, right? I just wanted to prove to y'all that I'm streaming basically. But let's go ahead and get into it. You know what I'm saying? So this is gonna, I'm just gonna do native loading time. I might speed up the video. So if I got a chipmunk voice going on, that's probably what that is. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to show the boot up time for this thing do, 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 do. Right. Hey, pretty good timing right show the frame rate on here you know i'm just messing around in mx versus atv legends and we are getting about 60 frames per second and the streaming feels pretty good for the most part you know i'm just messing around on this game driving around like a goofball but as y'all see it's running pretty well and the fun thing is i only have the rog ally at five watts of power meaning it's in its silent mode just chilling as my big pc does all the work and for the next game i got running we got mortal kombat 1 streamed on the rog ally through the big pc which is the one actually running the game and as y'all see we are getting over 60 fps during the game which runs really well while streamed and fighting games is one of them genres where you're going to need every single frame so it seems that the fact that it's running at 60 fps solid is a very good sign that even streaming through the rog ally with good enough internet it will seem that the game will run very well so those are two games i just previewed that ran pretty good with the rog ally streaming on steam through the big pc and i gotta say it is an improvement overall than running those games through the rog ally natively where i could not hit a consistent 60 fps and considering i have wi-fi 6 that might be a good explanation on why i didn't run into any issues while streaming and considering the pc was the one running all of the games the rog ally was able to run with only five watts of power applied to it meaning that it was basically just running in idle mode the entire time meaning you got really good battery life on the ROG Ally as a result of streaming these games. But the reason why I made this was because of the Android-based systems running around, like the Razer Edge, which are promoting gaming through streaming for the most part. So I just wanted to show that the ROG Ally could do the same. So with that being said, I will see you guys in the next video.